Hi everyone, this is a uh, 2013 Tesla Model S um, P85. So I've had all the strange error codes like everyone else. And the latest one is the U018, which is a battery unbalanced or unbalanced battery. And I've had this error before and I was able to clear it just by disconnecting the low voltage battery in the fireman's loop, letting it sit for a while. And that seemed to clear everything up. Uh, as long as I don't let the uh, charge or the, the percentage drop below 30, I don't have that problem anymore. It just, it just doesn't exist. But seeing that the car was sitting last night and I went to go charge it and I noticed that it dropped to 27% to, um, and it triggered that error code again. So I've been trying to kind of get rid of it, trying to figure out how to do it again. And so I've cycled a couple times with the disconnect and low voltage and the fireman's loop and Hasn't done it yet, but last time it took a, quite a few uh, tries at it as well. So, um, you know, a lot of our, a lot of people have gotten the updates, and they they've gone into the service screen, and there's a new little BMS uh, reset tool in there, and and everyone's afraid to try it. I'm afraid to try it, but what the heck? You know, what do I got to lose? Um, I have a BMS error code, so. Um, I'll give it a try. So we'll go in there and and uh, go into service mode. If you don't know about service mode, it's basically the password is service, lowercase. And you could get in there and it takes you right in there. So it says service mode. Of course, if you're going to be playing around here, you have to enable it. And you get the screen, the red line around there says you're in, you're in service mode, GTW is locked, speed limited, not that I'm driving anywhere anywhere. Anyways, on my main console in front of me, it says service mode with the VIN number up there as well. So this is what it looks like. This is my firmware. The latest firmware I have is 2023.12.9.1. Don't know what that means, but there's my uh, firmware uh, information. So coming in here, there's a few things we could do with these older legacy Teslas. I haven't played around with everything yet, but there's a few and there's some additional resources in there too. It doesn't really do much. I've kind of gone in there and, and some service settings. Um, you can reinstall software. I haven't done any of that. I didn't really want to play with that. I was more concerned with the high voltage. So I went to the high voltage and if I go to charging, this is... If you are going to install the CSS retrofit, which is it allows you to uh, charge faster, I believe, at some of the uh, uh, some of the other superchargers around. So, um, not interested in that at this point because I have that stupid error. So, we'll go back there. So, my concern was the uh, the battery, and as you can see, I have some unbalanced uh, or imbalanced <laughs> balance imbalanced batteries which i already knew about so i knew they existed i know they're there and and i've had some workarounds um with them which is which like i said worked very very well able to charge 100 percent. i just can't let it drop below 30 um, supercharged just fine as long as i don't drop below 30 and again this in this case it did drop below 30 i went to go charge it, it was at 27 triggered the error code so this just gives you you can touch on a few items and this fuse is okay uh, don't know what these green dots are. I don't know if that's a charge port. I, I really don't know. And then this is my uh, BMS and it gives you a reset option. So everyone's scared of this little reset option. Not sure what it does, but if you hit uh, reset BMS, then you get this little code. So this little window comes up, a gateway unlock required. And to do that, it says hold the right turn signal in the active position and press and hold the brake for eight seconds so let's i have nothing to lose so let's go ahead and do that so turn signal up brake pedal on and you can see it's counting down gateway unlock in progress and all right so it's unlocked and turn off the turn signal so my gateway is unlocked the gate will be unlocked again in 89 minutes and 50 seconds okay so uh, the following is a component replacement. If following a component replacement, one of the unlock conditions is not met, the gateway unlock procedure will not be able to succeed. You can then connect locally with the toolbox and retry. Okay, well, I'm unlocked, so 
let's push the button. Um, okay, pack pack contact contactors need to be open prior to executing this routine. This routine will reset the battery management system. So we'll see, we'll push run. Don't know what's going to happen, and it failed. So uh, I'll go ahead and just rerun it anyways and see what it does. It's probably because the pack contactors need to be open. Don't know how to do that. Don't know what that means. I'll have to research it. Um, but let's just rerun it again. Let's see what happens. Probably the same error. Yeah, routine failure. So this didn't do me any good. I'm going to close out of here. So thank you very much. Uh, res reset BMS did not work. And we'll just go back up to the car here and take a look at all this. This is our main screen. And I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here for this video. You hold the button down, exits out. Uh, you see my red border is gone, and it completely took me out of service mode and cleared my uh, my dash in front of me as well. So I know that doesn't help anybody, but I know a lot of you guys were like, "Well, I see this over there. I don't want to. I don't want to do anything with it. I'm afraid." So um, that's what happens when you push all those buttons. And again, I need to do a little more uh, research on it.